Today is June the 27th. We've been talking this entire month about focus, talking about recognizing the focus of your life. And I want to help you do that. So make sure you pick up my ebook on focus. It's available by, by clicking the link below or going to the website. You can grab a, a copy of that. I think it'll be a great help to you. And you can go back and watch the daily all throughout this past month. Each month we take a different topic. Just a few days we'll begin a brand new one. But today, you, you might ask yourself, well, how can I recognize my gift? How do I recognize that primary gift and, and any supporting talents that I, I may have received from God? I, I have difficulty identifying them. I just can't see them, but I'm, I'm desperate to understand uh, what I should be doing with my life. And as I said, we bring this month the subject to a, a close. Let me explain uh, with you or, 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 and leave you with a brief understanding or explanation of three specific things that you can look for in yourself in order to discover the primary talent that God has given to you. And maybe any secondary talent or auxiliary abilities that he may have trusted you with uh, to aid you in the development of the primary skill. First, look for passion. Now, we talked about that a couple of months ago. You can go back and watch all the dailies on the subject of passion. But you look for your passion. Wherever you find passion in yourself, you'll find purpose. As I've explained extensively in in other in that in the month on passion, it really reveals the presence of a God given talent. You can go back and get the ebook on passion as well. If you didn't get it, I think it was in uh, February we talked about passion. But it's especially true when you feel a particular passion early in life. I, I already told you a few days ago about Oprah Winfrey's childhood passion for speaking. And I've explained about Tiger Woods' childhood passion for golf. But there are many other examples, many great musicians, actors, athletes, scientists who found their great love, magicians, started at a very early age, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, the, were already good friends when they were kids. And they used to find quiet spots at school where they'd slip away from the crowd and talk about their passion for acting. Picasso attended an adult art school when he was a teenager because he already had discovered his passion, this great passion for art. Homer Hickman, a coal miner's son from West Virginia, and the subject of the 1999 film October Sky knew as a high school student in the 50s that he wanted to go to college and be a rocket scientist. The presence of an undeniable passion usually indicates a God-given talent. <laughs>